Jesper, this is a real delight for me to sit down and talk with you about Jotun, the new album, life, oh, yes. your journey. Yeah. Dude, for the past year, almost every month on my YouTube like recap, Miss like Missland is probably one of my most played tracks. I I adore all your music, but that song just was like a freight train, man. That yeah. is to me, that is a perfect song. Perfection. It's that's so... a, that's a really nice to hear. It's it's a, it's a, like it's one of the songs that perhaps means the most to me personally. So uh, also like uh, yeah, regarding all the like foundation uh, guitar arrangements and so on and and how the song is built and everything that's something i've had in mind to do uh, yeah five plus years and it became misland at some point so I'm glad, is, you, I'm glad you like it <laughs> i've talked about this before with music you can hear obviously talent you can hear talent you can hear you know when people have the skills but when you can put soul and heart to a melody it takes on a whole new meaning and i i just yeah. i re i remember when it first started dude like instant goosebumps you know and the whole the whole ride the whole album the whole journey man you uh you could see why i'm i'm so excited to <laughs> yeah 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 uh, yeah man i'm a i'm a big feely person dude i i feel heavy and uh yeah yeah i, I know how that is yeah yeah great just yeah great okay man so how's everything going how are you I'm good. I've uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, interviews these days. Yeah. Uh, this whole week and and next week all is already pretty packed also, and it's it's really nice to to finally get to talk with uh, with uh, you know uh, someone who's not in the band or just around or your parents or something uh, and uh, and talk to to like music uh, nerds and passionate yeah. uh, about our new album you know uh, and for me personally it's it's just extremely delightful to be you know it's it's one of the most beautiful and and uh, cool things i think to do in your life is to create music but when you get into that whole like when you get to the finish line, the months up to the finish line of making uh, Access All Worlds or Kinship, you you also get very like very tired in the end. You've you've been working for years and years, and in the end, it's just intensifies. And when you're done with the album, there's a couple of months where you're just like, fuck. And then where we are now you're in that whole release process and everything is uh, just like uh, blooming up again the good energy and uh, and uh, we can already like uh, the ones who've heard it so far uh, who's not just our our like closest uh, partners and and family and so on but you know uh, music critics we talk to uh, think it's uh, amazing so uh, yeah, it's I, just nice. It's it's nice to be in the release process. Yeah, and uh, today I've just uh, enjoyed some interviews and uh, been together with my girlfriend. So that's perfect. Hell yeah, man, <laughs> dude! Create creating music is is a wild journey. I I do it as oh, well, yeah. and um, it's funny when you're when you're writing music and writing songs, you hear them a million times. You're listening to them over and oh, over. Yes. And and you almost get to a point where you're like, I need to take a break yeah. from listening. But then when when you release it to the wind and and new ears hear it, not your friends, you know, and, and whatever, yeah. it's like you know, you're it, it gives it it breathes new life. Totally. It's it's a it's a, it it was actually the same experience I had with the Access All Worlds. And it's just uh, I think everything is just 10 times deeper this time because we've tried it before mm -hmm. and uh, we are you know four years older everyone and uh, and been together as a band for more time and 
So everything is more like deep and profound, but it's the same dynamics in some way. Mm. And I, I really just love this uh, process where, where singles are released and the album and uh, yeah, just a lot of Jotun and, and just yeah. Enjoying. Yeah, you you're giving people a, a sneak peek, especially with uh, I feel the night, man. Yeah, like when I when I saw it drop, I just was so excited, man, because you're waiting. You're, you know, Jotun has has become a personal favorite project ah. band of mine. So for for me, when I see a, a band that I just really admire and appreciate, and they they give me a little taste, I'm just like, eat it up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I I know that myself from you know. Uh... This is just a small part of my collection, and and when uh, when you know some of your favorite band uh, releases new music, it's just like uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't you wait need, for it. You need yeah. it, yeah. There's yeah. a reason why they're your favorite, man. I feel yeah, that, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. So that's to, to him. Yeah. So I I know a lot of people can look back and kind of see how Jotun came to be. The one thing I wanted to, to kind of start off with is how did um how did you find the sound that you wanted? Where did this come from? Yeah, it's it's a really long uh, and probably also complex story in a in a good way. Um, I think I think if you take it from like my brother and I are both guitarists in the band and compose the guitar arrangements as the mm -hmm. first thing when we make Jotun songs. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, it's important to mention that my brother and I are uh, classical guitarists. We played classical guitar when we were children and, uh, and uh, still do so today. Uh, so a core element in the Jotun sound overall is classical music. Mm -hmm. Like this, this whole atmospheric uh, flying away feeling, uh, the, the big stories in the compositions and so on, is very inspired by classical symphonies, uh, especially like uh, 1900, or how do I say in English, you know, 1800 until 1900. That whole romantic period with yes. uh, Edward Grieg and Smitana and Dvořák and all those, uh, we can't get enough of of those uh, composers. Um, that combined with uh, a huge love for like sixties and seventies uh, rock music, prog music, mm -hmm. uh, Pink Floyd, Genesis, mm -hmm. uh, The Doors, Deep Purple, uh, and so on is also very, very important to understand our sound. And then if we take like the whole metal world, it's it's very, very like uh, we have so many different sources of inspiration there. Uh, some of us are like huge, uh, like uh, Metallica, Priest, Maiden, etc. fans, uh, black metal fans. Uh, proc uh, fans, uh, all sorts of things. And I just think that this kinds of uh, includes all five of uh, us in the band's taste, yeah. you know. Uh, it's very broad and there's a lot of it. And I think that uh, Jens Neurai and I uh, developed a sound in the guitar, which uh, of course has a lot to do with how the drums will evolve also, uh, vocals, bass, and so on. But we are all like individual players, but uh, the main uh, the main orientation in our music is to see that complete song in the end, the whole experience, you know? So it's not about, uh, oh, we have, to, uh, we have to have 10 guitar solos in each song because there should be guitar all over the place or something. It's about good music, you know? Yeah. And the sound, I think the sound developed out of just, we have always, always written a lot of music, lots, lots, lots of ideas, you know? Uh, and and very, very slowly it just became, you know? And, and we actually back, I would say in 13, 14, 15, that 
that was the year where yes where we could kind of sense that sound that is today mm -hmm. and, and and we actually talked about it back then that oh something is coming you know um and and uh, yeah i think uh, just a lot of listening and a lot of love for listening to a lot of music mm -hmm. and playing yourself writing yourself as much as you can then somewhere something will uh, turn up and hopefully be your own sound yeah it's it's very interesting because <clears throat> when when you look at these bands these influences that we have especially like in the 80s and 70s and, and back and you know there there always seemed to be kind of a formula that bands followed when with every 10 years of music right like in the 80s uh, yeah. every song had to have a solo every song had to have some kind of high falsetto singing or some kind of the one thing that you mentioned you said we do a lot of listening and what it feels like is that you are you're allowing music to speak through you in the way that it wants to do organically there is no set oh yeah there's no oh we have to have a solo in this song we yeah. have to and that's the one thing about your music it's so vast and open it doesn't feel like you're listening to a bunch of um instruments in a cramped room everything no. is open the notes ring out the 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 vocals are are big and and you it's like you're outside listening yeah, to yeah, yeah. To... i think i think the 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 thing like uh, with the music talking through you is connected with our approach when we create the music and write the music because we always you know if we have to draw on music theory or something we can do that mm -hmm. You know, if we want to make harmonies in, in a certain way, we can. But but the whole foundation for or like uh, how we approach creating music is uh, like it's only built on what what do we feel when we hear the things we write, you know. So we want to expand and we want to like unfold, uh, you know, human feelings in the music. Uh, so so when we listen to it just like if you listen to a, a huge symphony it's, it should move you you know mm -hmm. deeply so that's what we are aiming for you know uh, yeah so i think i think that's, it's good to hear because it's it's it, it's it's very uh, important to us to have that approach instead of having like it could be uh, like a theoretic music approach or something that's, yeah uh, that's the, that's uh, something we can take in if we want to do it in the service of the feelings you know yeah you know, it's like you have the skill you have the years of listening and you have the years of practicing and, and growing but this is where and i feel like with what you're trying to say is now this is where your imagination that part of you that wants to create that is kind of free to roam the land comes and meets so now yeah. it's like instead of instead of you being confined to okay this is in this key we have to stay in this key no it's a tool yeah 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 no, yeah, yeah yeah and 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 most often you know uh, we know what key we play the different stuff in but it's not a, it's not like a first move in our creative process we, we never talk about Oh, and now we should move to this key because it makes <laughs> you know we just write and and unfold our songs so it, yeah. so, it so it's unfolded in the best way we can you know uh, yeah yeah excellent you, you when you guys do that man so just, um use your ears that's my motto yeah <laughs> you know just yeah how does it feel that's it yeah it, it's connect it's connected to the heart you know what yeah, I mean totally because you uh i i find because like you and i both we listen to a lot of music yeah, yeah, yeah. and i have to i can tell when i've been listening to a lot of music and i'm just hearing with my ears and i'm not listening with my heart yeah yeah it's connected That's yeah the way. and i have to slow down and go all right man you're not you're not really listening yeah. even if it's even if it's not my cup of tea not my favorite type of music I need to slow down and that's yeah, dude. So, Hey, 
Kinship is coming out. What's the inspiration behind the new album? Wow. The or or uh, uh. what's the um <laughs> you you're a very story driven musician. You obviously you're a lover of telling stories. Yeah. With your music. So what is maybe some stories or what's kinship about? Yeah. I think I think the if we take like the connection between the music and the lyrics, mm-hmm. I would say it builds out of each, it, it, it like it comes out of each other in a way, which is that we wanted to have even more dynamics on this album in the in the instrumentation mm-hmm. than on Access All Worlds, mm-hmm. uh, and that also gave some kind of uh, room for a lyrical. Um, duality like unfolding you could say good and evil light and dark uh, human inhuman uh, nature culture um, so a lot of like things that we in our language have like put in categories as often opposites but if you really like if you go deep into the different concepts they are totally intertwined mm-hmm. and and interact together and feeds of each other and you know and and that's also how uh, I would say you, how your inner life is how your life is with your relationships the humans you uh, choose to have your live your life with you know uh, the society you are in. Uh, the human uh, history unfolding on a big scale, you know, lots mm-hmm. of things happening. Uh, and also how we're connected to nature, how, how we are floating through the cosmos as a planet and are uh, like connected to, <laughs> you know, it's almost like you could say uh, planet Earth is this kinship floating through the sea of cosmos, you know. And, and so it's really about getting more wise on how do you find your true self in regards of you being interlinked with all these uh, aspects both externally and internally um yeah and and that's also what's what's in the instrumentation it's very very diverse there's a lot of music on the kinship al- kinship album there's so much to listen to and there's a lot of dynamics and and it's a very i think a very passionate album it's a, it it really comes out of the speakers for you and 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 i hope it will you know move people and have people getting involved with the, the music and the lyrics and everything so yeah it really sounds like the one thing that i'm picking up is these aspects that you focus on lyrically, you obviously are, are we're, we're all going through life together. We're all doing our thing, but you can tell that there is a deep feeling in you. Like you care about what is going on in the world. You care yeah. about what people are doing. And yeah. it's very interesting how you said, you you're folk like with lyrically you're focusing on you know almost like light dark but really everything is kind of gray <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 in in some yeah true true and you can say that about our whole like uh, uh language you know we have to we have to have some kind of system and uh, and uh, divide <laughs> things you know to to navigate but we should never uh, never forget how much uh, everything actually floats you know yeah we and and that's cool that you said that man because like i can listen to a song in a different language and i can feel what the message is and and it's like what what is this i'm feeling i i and so it it really is i think the barriers that we see in the world are just in our mind like there really is nothing to hold us back from anything like we, yeah, we there's, get... a, there's a lot out, out there that reflects how we work uh, <laughs> in our brains yeah. and thoughts and so on. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's cool that you kind of like are bringing that with this 
with your music and with this new album. I have to ask though, being in a yeah. band with your brother, dude, what's it do you, what's it what's it like? Is there like is there bumping heads or you guys work pretty well together? I I would say that's no uh that's no uh oasis in uh, Jotun. <laughs> <laughs> Actually my brother and I ha have been yeah following each other and, and hanging out throughout all our lives. He's uh, five and a bit more uh, older than me, but from, you know, uh, when I became a teenager and also a bit before, uh, we, we already enjoyed you know, the classical guitar playing and, uh, and listening to metal also. Um, and uh, I've always uh, hung out with his friends together with him and vice versa. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think we always wanted... At some point, we just wanted to make a band together because we're really, really good at working together and mm. understanding each other. And uh, and uh, we are like uh, closest friends, also really good friends. And uh, so awesome. yeah, and of course, it matters even more because it's my brother. Uh, and of course, when you're family, you can have you can have get irritated in another way than with a friend. But yeah. it's, it's so little that it's really doesn't matter so you yeah. it's probably it's probably better to work with too because you can be you can be more f honest with him like hey man that guitar playing you just played sucks we need to redo it <laughs> you know? like, yeah I, yeah but uh he's such a good guitar player so that that barely <laughs> that barely happens but bad uh, example <laughs> <laughs> But I, I get what you're saying, but I, I think actually the the most important thing is that that the whole you know that's there's, there's so many things to having a band as adult people and uh, and that brother honesty is a very good thing in in getting Jotun forward. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you have a uh, do you have a favorite memory that you shared with your brother musically? I I, I have to mention. Uh, I don't, yeah, I would probably pick, uh, I've been to 20, 21 or something Metallica concerts in my life. And Jens Neurai has been to perhaps a couple of three more. And most of them we have gone, you know, uh, gone to together. Yes. We, we we are huge. My brother and I are really huge Metallica fans. <laughs> so, oh. uh, so I would say the first I went to was in Parken in Copenhagen in 2004 and that was with my brother and my cousin and that that was just magical magical yeah metallica was the but, gateway f for me yeah yeah awesome yeah i was 12 yeah. years old I, I got into a car with my friend going to uh we were in boy scouts yeah. and i uh, i grew up in the country so i never heard electric guitars my dad no. say my dad sang country gospel music, yeah, yeah and yeah. I get in the car and we're driving, and my friend's brother puts in Master of Puppets, and wow. uh, he, <laughs> he go. goes, yeah, he goes to Master <laughs> of Puppets, and I heard that intro, and I was like, <laughs> my ears, yeah. I was sold, dude. So yeah, I'm a yeah. big Metallica fan. The first uh, guitar tsunami from Metallica for me was Five Five with Fire, and and not just like the the acoustic intro there is just amazing and still is but when the roofing comes in it's just and just... I, I i still get 10 years old when i hear that song it's just like... yeah it it's so hard <laughs> to pick a favorite metallica song but you honestly <laughs> you, you really yeah, don't but... <laughs> but i tell you man i love i've always loved that they talked about like hp lovecraft and cthulhu and stuff and my my favorite song has to be uh the thing that should not be i love that song man yeah. it's just yeah it's but uh dude so yeah i it, just you just kind of describing the element of like working with your brother and and with the music and everything i think that's a almost like an added bonus because yeah you guys you know each other so well that's probably why your music ha is so developed and so rich yeah because because like access all worlds was a very just like like seasoned it it was like this is like you know what i mean yeah 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 but i think that's that's just you know we know each other so well and uh 
and we've experienced so many things together as as brothers uh, in our family and together and also just like i said as as uh, very close friends uh my brother and i have been to like hundreds of concerts together we've listened to thousands of those albums together you know and uh, talk about music and life and everything and we uh, travel together you know out in the mountains iceland and norway and so on uh, so we share a lot together and com all those things combined with our love for writing music together as much as we have done for so many years i think yeah. that that that's where well, yeah that's a that's a good thing for our, our sound, I think. I wanted to ask, though, and if you can share it, mm. what is one song off the new album that you personally can't wait for people to hear? Okay, I have to think a bit. I think if we hadn't put out Midland last year, uh, for personal reasons, I think it would be that one. Uh, I think the song I'm most looking forward to see how will be recepted and and how people will will be moved by is uh, iridescent way because it uh, it's a song that I've wanted to be a part of the Yotun universe for a very very long time. Not that specific one because that's written over the last couple of years, but the wish to create a song that that where the foundation is built upon the whole history of my brother and I uh, playing classical guitar, classical um, music, our love for that, uh, and that's that's we nailed that on this song, and I really love that song. Uh, so that's uh, that's extremely special to me and also to my brother and um, and it's a standout song you know we haven't done anything like it so that's that's the one. Oh, i'm excited why but, is but all eight i think uh, i love each song really yeah yeah why is miss land so important to you I think there's there's something about the the whole composition and how the story evolves in that song that which reflects on, as we talked about the uh, for example, the 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 there's something in how the journey unfolds that is I think quite like a song like Fate to Black, yeah, uh, which is perhaps my favorite song oh, <laughs> if I have great to song. if I have to mention one, yeah. Um, so it's 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 just a certain kind of uh, epos uh, like uh, that I've always wanted to write, and I think there's a certain there's a special feeling of like uh, not melancholy, but uh, I'm searching for another word. But you know, that's that's this. There's a. It's almost very somber, and. Um... It's it's heavy and it's dark, but it's and 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 you can almost feel like uh, yeah, I'm crying his vocals sometimes, but it's still uplifting, you know. So yeah, so that that's a that's a very like uh, I think there's a sense of hope. There's a total message in that song, which yeah, which, which kind of includes uh, everything from the darkest to the lightest in some way. Yeah, what are you um? And we'll end with this. What do you what do you hope Jotun? Obviously, you're writing music for yourself. Yeah. You have you have to be proud of what you create, and that's really all that matters. But when it comes to other people, what is what is it that you hope Jotun does for other people? I I hope it uh, moves people in a way that makes their lives better. Uh, music can really be like an enhancement of how you're feeling. And if you're feeling, uh, if you're having really, really hard times, uh, music is very important to, to help you, you know? And if you're having really great times, 
music can take you even further, you know. Mm -hmm. And I hope we are contri contributing to to sending some good, helpful, moving energies out in the world. And uh, and what I'm very proud of by like creating a career with a band is to be part of what what I think is also like you are mentioning in your reaction videos and so on that music really plays an important role in in general in this world which is in yeah. many ways fucked up you know but yeah. uh, we need the music yeah dude Jesper this has been um an honor man you guys deserve just all the all the love and and praise and accolades and i i'm so excited for the world to experience your new album i'm so excited i know it's going to be stellar uh the, again this was a delight for me dude because uh yeah likewise your your music means a lot to me on a personal level as well so i am very grateful for this time that i get to have with you man yeah that's cool man it was Hell very yeah. nice very nice